You know who I find just absolutely adorable? You. You, if you believe any of this Dragon SpaceX go save the astronauts from the ISS stuff. You're precious. I just find you so innocent and pure. But I have some things to show you. First, what you need to know is that the ISS is supposedly traveling at a whopping 17,000 miles per hour at all times. It doesn't speed up or slow down, otherwise it can't stay in orbit. And while there seems to be some discrepancy in how fast it looks like it's moving, here it is as Dragon is coming into dock. And well, it doesn't look like it's moving at all, and the Earth, it's just barely inching along there but when you go to it ejecting something changes drastically a lot of motion here from both the earth or the iss one of the two looks like it's moving supposedly they both are at great speeds now i want to show you some footage from the joe rogan show when he had an astronaut on and paid close attention to what the astronaut says confirming how fast they're moving I can prepare you for everything except for the visual when you get up there and you see the whole earth below you some people go out there and get, like, a sense of fear of falling. Um, mm. But, of course, you, if you let go, you're not going anywhere. Right. The space station's moving 17,500 miles an hour, but so are you. Wow, space is magical. It's amazing how slow 17,000 miles per hour looks when you're up in space. It's magical. How does space do that? It slows things down even though they're going so fast. Let me show you what just 6,599 miles per hour looks like from the supersonic sled. Check it out. 6,000 miles per hour. And let's take a look again. This time, let's look at half speed. And now this is supposedly three times faster at 17,000 miles per hour. And I know what some of you are going to say, but perspective, the Earth is so far away that it just doesn't really look like it's moving. Well, that's fine. You can say that, but let's at least be consistent. Here's that 17,000 miles per hour again, or the Earth in something's not right here. Something's not consistent. And I'm telling you, start looking at these things with an inquisitor's eye instead of a believer's eye. Now I want to show you something else. You know what else travels at 17,000 miles per hour? The space rockets that are supposedly leaving Earth's orbit. They go at 17,000 miles per hour. And while the International Space Station is supposedly, and I say supposedly every time because supposedly, it's only 254 miles high orbiting the Earth. So... That's not that far, right? So why did it take 29 hours to get there when it's going 17,000 miles per hour? A typical airplane travels at a cruising speed of about five or 600 miles per hour. So for an airplane going five or 600 miles per hour, it would only take about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes to travel 254 miles. Yet the Dragon that's going 17,000 miles per hour took 29 hours to reach the ISS, which is again, just orbiting the Earth at supposedly 254 miles high. Maybe these rockets that they tell us travel at these tremendous speeds, like 17,000 miles per hour, aren't traveling as fast as they say. That looks like a balloon slowly launching up into the atmosphere. And maybe not only are they not going as fast, maybe they're not going to the places they tell us they're going to. I mean, have you ever seen what the flight paths look like? Oh, hey, speaking of balloons, did you ever see when NASA jettisoned one of its giant metal thousand pound fuel tanks and how it looked like a balloon just slowly meandering, making its way back down to Earth. Do you know what I want to do for you since I find you so cute and adorable? I want to give you the chance and the opportunity that I never had. I want to tell you if you still believe that those rockets are going to space and rescuing astronauts that have been on the ISS for months, I'm giving you the opportunity to say, just look, explore. And maybe these astronauts that you think are in space might just be in water. 
maybe there's just green screens. And other technology that they're using to manipulate you and to fool you into thinking that space travel is real and the earth is moving and that it's not an enclosed system. Well, I'm here and I'm telling you, I'm knocking on your door saying, look into it. You see, I never had someone tap me on the shoulder and say, Tyler, look at this. Why are there discrepancies here? Why is it taking them 29 hours when they're 250 miles away and they're going 17,000 miles per hour? Why are there discrepancies in the first U.S. versus Russian spacewalk? I mean, the Earth literally is moving faster here than here, and don't even get me started on just how really real it looks. So like I said, I'm giving you a softball. I'm hoping you hit it out of the park. But don't just believe me, you innocent, beautiful, adorable, sweet human that is trusting and just trust people because we should be able to trust people. Get annoyed enough by me that you go to try to prove me wrong and see what happens. But of course, all of this for entertainment purposes. I'm sure that the Dragon rocket went up and only took 29 hours because it had to take a parabolic curve path and slingshot around the moon to be able to catch up to the ISS because it's going so fast. And even though it was going so fast, it still took 29 hours going 17,000 miles per hour when it was only 250 miles away. And like I said, entertainment only, just like I'm sure these are all curved because it's going around the curve of the earth entertainment only.